Are buyers now in the driver's seat in the Denver real estate market? We'll dig into what's happening right after this. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jill Uplager with Denver Real Estate at Remax Alliance. If you're interested in the Denver area, then you have come to the right place. I post weekly tips, tours, and topics about real estate and living in the Denver area. If you'd like to see more of my videos, remember to tap that subscribe button. Let's review statistics and discuss the recent market shifts in the Denver Metro real estate market. Highlights for September, the market continues to slow. Mortgage rates increased. Conventional loan limits increased. Buyers are asking for seller concessions. Sellers are taking price reductions to get their home sold. And new home builders are offering incentives. I'll go into more detail on these topics after we review the statistics. Home sold decreased 3% versus last month and 23% year over year. Rising mortgage rates continue to slow the number of homes sold. The number of homes sold in September was the lowest over the past six years and the third lowest in a rolling 12 month period. By price range, the 500 to 600,000 range had the most activity in new listings and closings. As well, the luxury market in the price range of 1 million plus remained strong. September median price was up 1% to last month. Year over year, home prices are up 9%. Homes closed 2.6% lower than the list price for the month. Median price peaked in April. Since then, there has been a steady decline. September was 580,000, 6% lower than April. The median closed price for single family homes was 630,000, 50,000 less than this year's high of 680,000. Condos, townhomes, multifamily homes were 410,000, 30,000 less than the median high in 2022. New listings remained flat to last month while decreasing 15% year over year. The number of new listings this year September was the lowest we've seen in the past five years. At the end of September, there were 7,486 active listings, up 118% to last year. The number of homes going under contract was down 17% month over month and down 25% versus last year. For September, this was the lowest number over the past five years. The median number of days a home was on the market increased to 17 days, up 6 days versus August, and 12 days more than last year. Average days on market is now 27. Do buyers now have the upper hand in the Denver real estate market? The market has continued to slow. Some of the slowing is seasonal, while rising mortgage rates and economic uncertainty have contributed to higher than usual declines. We are definitely heading toward a more balanced market. According to the Denver Metro Association of Realtors, we haven't seen a balanced market in over 16 years. As more inventory becomes available, we'll see buyers and sellers working together toward a win-win experience. We're coming out of a seller's market with low inventory and heading into a balanced market. A buyer's market where buyers have the upper hand occurs when there is more than seven months of inventory. Buyers are definitely able to negotiate more now versus the past two to three years. Seller concessions are being negotiated to buy down the mortgage rate or help with items that need repair. It appears some buyers are getting used to the higher mortgage rates and looking at ways to offset the rates. And higher conventional loan limits are helping buyers with higher home prices in the Denver area. Sellers are taking more price reductions, more so because the market adjusted, but the expectations of how much their home could sell for did not. Pricing a home conservatively will result in a quicker sale. January through June, homes were closing at up to 106% above asking price. July, the close to list price evened out, closing at 100%. Now in September, homes are closing at 99 to 99.8% of the list price. This is mainly due to overpricing for the current market that has seen some normalizing in recent months. As home sales have dropped off, new home builders are offering incentives to entice buyers. Some that I have seen are offering $20,000 to $30,000 in closing cost credits. This is a high level look at the Denver Metro real estate market, which spans over several counties. There are variations by city, neighborhood, and even price range. 
A knowledgeable real estate agent can help you understand city and neighborhood trends, as well as helping clients write a competitive offer. I would love to guide you through the home buying process or answer any questions you may have. Feel free to reach out to me at any time. If you found today's topic helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you'll get notifications every time I post a video and you won't miss a thing. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to check out some of my other videos showing on the screen. Thanks for watching.